Good morning. I'm on the North Norfolk coast. Uh, to the east, you can see down in the distance there is Cromer. Uh, you can see the pier sticking out. Uh, and I'm at West Runton today. The tide has gone out. It is about half an hour after low tide. Um, and I've been down on the on the beach looking for looking for fossils and doing some rock pooling. Um, so West Runton, this location has got some quite complex geology. Um, so the Cretaceous chalk, which is which is what's underneath these flints here um, and the seaweed, um, was laid down um, during the Cretaceous period, one of the three dinosaur uh, periods, um, about 145 to 66 million years ago. Uh, this was created at the same time as uh, Spinosauruses and Ankylosauruses were were uh, walking the earth, um, and so there's dinosaur age fossils we can find um, on this kind of platform area. Uh, a couple of examples here we just pulled off uh, from in the rocks. These, these are um, uh, small small fossils of belemites, which are kind of, it's kind of the tail section of a squid-like creature uh, that lived perhaps 100 million years ago. So not hugely exciting in terms of seeing the fossil itself, but um, in terms of where they've come from, uh, hugely, hugely engaging. Uh, also here we've got um, Wayborne Crag Rock. Um, there's the West Runton Freshwater Bed as well, which is and perhaps see. I'm not sure I can zoom this in. At the base of the cliffs, over in the distance there, there's a little lip uh, coming out, and that's the darker rock, which is the West Runton freshwater bed. And from that, you get um, dark uh, bones, hyenas and rhinos, mammoths come out of there. Famously, the West Runton um, steep step mammoth um, was discovered in 1991, excavated in 1995, um, and that is now uh, on display and you can find here with relative regularity um, woolly mammoth bones and, and teeth particularly that's the thing we've sort of come for today but that is uh, unlikely to find one of those unfortunately and um, there's also that make up the majority of these cliffs the um, glacial sands and gravels uh, that you can see up the top there and these are fast eroding um, so in terms of coastal management you can see here I'm walking along the sea wall um, the, the policy though here now is essentially no active intervention. So it's, there's not a huge amount of being done to sea defences uh, in this area. Um, the defences are being allowed to degrade. Um, however, in the short term, there is the promise to maintain this access point here down to the beach. Uh, and that's an important site locally um, to the local economy and so on. Um, so that will be maintained for the next uh, 20 to 30 years. And then beyond that, uh, haven't quite made a decision yet it seems um, so no new defenses here being put in place uh, means more fossils of course being pulled out of the cliffs you can see more of these degraded defenses there um, the existing revetment which are now very much aging uh, we've got um, rock armor just there and the seawall okay um, now the longshore drift then is going towards the east and material is heading off down towards uh, chroma down there. 